Hey guys, David here again, and today I am doing one of my last long runs before I head out to uh, the big races of the year, so Squamish 5050, which is next weekend. Uh, that is on my mind for sure, and uh, then just a month after that, we've got the uh, Mountain Lakes 100, assuming the fires calm down here in the Pacific Northwest a bit. So, uh, yeah, today hopefully getting in about 20 miles, ignore my hair and stuff. I woke up and drove out here, so I'm at the foot of Mount St. Helens out at Coldwater Lake, and uh, today is hopefully the day I'll get that full 20 mile loop-ish around, uh, around Coldwater Lake for the, uh, it's the same course as Backcountry Rise, essentially. If, you're, if anyone's doing that, that's what I'm doing today. Um, and I will be doing that race too here in a couple weeks. So it'll be a good little preview and stuff, and uh, the weather is actually looking a little bit better today. Um, it's kind of cloudy, kind of a very Pacific Northwest vibe to the weather today, unlike the 100-ish degree days we've almost had here the past couple of weeks. So we'll see how we do. Uh, let's get out there. Uh, so we're a few miles into this, and I am feeling pretty good. We're about to stop uh, up here pretty soon and get some water. <clears throat> um, I think we're about an hour in and uh, yeah so far so good it's a little bit muggier than I was thinking it would be but that's okay and so yeah let's keep on keeping on all right so we made it out here to the last water source for a while I'm gonna fill up my bottle and uh, put a little bit extra in my bladder eat a, uh, a spring nutrition or a spring energy little gel thing and uh, because I am out kind of in the back country here, I'm gonna filter this with uh, my Sawyer Mini. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep hitting the trail. We've got a big climb for the next four miles or so. I think it's about 4,000 feet. So it's gonna be a little rough, but uh, should be fun. Let's get back to it. All right, so we are about two hours into this now. And I'm in an absolutely gorgeous section of this route, which, as you can see, is kind of on this ridge by this valley. And oh man, these views are crazy. So gorgeous. Uh, definitely a bit of a death, death fall if you trip up here. So probably not super smart to film this section like this, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, so yeah, we're most of the way through this big climb got about a mile and a half left and Feeling really good Super stoked with uh, how the day is coming out so far and so I had mentioned it a little bit earlier in the video back in the truck uh, That uh, the big race is coming up uh, Are only a week away or so for the Squamish 5050 which is really that's the That's the scary one to me just because if you don't know it's 50 miles on a Saturday and then it is 50k on the following Sunday. So start at 5:30 a.m. The next race starts at 6:15 a.m. So you really don't have much time between the two to recover. So, and you know this will be by far the furthest distance I've gone, and also uh, the hardest terrain outside of the Bigfoot 100k that I've done. It's got like 11,000 feet of climbing for the 50 mile, and 11,000 feet, or sorry. 8,000 feet for the 50k so it's gonna be it's gonna be gnarly for sure so uh, that's really the big reason why I'm out here today is prepping for that everything I'm wearing today is what I'm hoping to wear for that race so it's just kind of the last uh, shakedown to make sure I've got everything dialed in that I want to have dialed in I brought the uh, <clears throat> same amount of water nutrition and all that that I'm going to be bringing for a good section of that race. Um, I will be crewed by my girlfriend, so it'll be a little bit easier in that sense because she can bring me some stuff every few miles. Well, every couple eight stations. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a beautiful day. Hopefully it stays that way. Next stop is uh, kind of over by Harry's Ridge, for those familiar with this area. And then it's off to Johnston Ridge Observatory where I might buy water if that place is open and then it's back down to the car so I'll see you guys later
All right, guys, I am right out by Spirit Lake now. I just went over the top of the ridge, and uh, that was a tough climb, but the good news is the climbing is mostly over. Um, there's a little bit of climbing throughout uh, this next section up to Johnston Ridge Observatory, but mostly downhill, which is great because that uphill is it's starting to it's starting to get me. So we're gonna just bomb these downhills and uh, and yeah, get uh, hopefully pick up the pace a bit for this second half. We're just about at 10 miles now, so whew, hopefully the weather stays this nice and uh and yeah all right i just left uh the johnston ridge observatory parking lot and i've got about i think four maybe five ish miles to go to get back to cold water and uh whew, that section actually was not good for me super slow and uh i just pretty much felt like shit the whole time my stomach was just not cooperating, and uh, so I ended up having to walk a lot of that, which was a bit of a bummer, because I was kind of hoping to bomb that section, but... So, uh, luckily they do have like a little shop there, and I bought some soda. Yeah, hopefully that'll settle my stomach a bit, and uh, got some water. And so, you know, not every day goes as planned, but you know, we're out here, we're logging miles. We're having a good time, so still beautiful. All right, only a few more miles back to the car. Ooh, you can see Helen in the background there. Or for those clouds. All right, see you guys at the truck. Ooh, all right, guys, that is it. We are done. I made it to the truck, <laughs> and uh, ooh, what a doozy! That was a rough run, so. Glad to be done with it. Gonna go grab something to eat, get some cold water, and uh, chill for the rest of the day. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, and woo, Squamish 50-50 next week. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Catch you later.